Okay. Um, so salty. What I was saying earlier, and I don't know if you heard it because you said it was lagging. You said that what was coming through reminded you of yourself. And what I saw was a girl with like crazy, not brushed hair, and she was hopping like a frog. And your name is Salty Frog. If that wasn't like, <laughs> if that clearly wasn't spirit, they might as well have just slapped me in the face and said, hey, this one's for Salty Frog. And I did not put the pieces together until just now. Holy crap. Okay. <coughs> oh. So yeah, we need to go back to this other one. And I don't know if I'll get the same person again or not. All right. I think... I think we should just start from scratch. But I think we should also keep in mind, in the back of our minds, all the things that were in that other reading of the unclaimed one, because clearly it was for you. Now we know that one was definitely for you without any question, because it, I mean, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm gonna use my giant heart one for you this, this time around. I feel like that's in significantly important. Okay, we're just gonna go from the beginning here. And hopefully, what I assume will happen is the same lady who was clearly getting our attention earlier will come back. But I can't guarantee that, because who knows? Okay. Okay, so I was shown the girl hopping again, but just very briefly. And then I see a lady and she's like wagging her finger at me, like kind of laughing. So I think we're on the right track. All right, this is the same lady. So she seems like a grandmother. Her hair is pulled back, um, kind of like, I guess, in a bun. She has a very kind face. She's wearing an apron. It's definitely the same lady. Um, her face is kind of full, um, either rounded, like it's kind of like almost like a what, like a square shaped face. Like I kind of have a square shaped face, and hers is kind of similar and full full face. Um, she seems like she was. I keep kind of seeing her as a little bit taller than average, but that's relative, you know, so I'm not going to go too much into that. Um, she's in a kitchen. I'm seeing different colored glass again. 
It's like light shining through colored glass. And it's different colors. Almost like it's a stained glass window or there's something hanging up in the window that has different colors and when the light shines off of it, it kind of goes through the room. Seeing the rocks again? It's just rocks. <laughs> <laughs> like my mom has a windowsill in her kitchen where she puts rocks that she really likes and they don't necessarily have to be like fancy gemstones or crystals they're some of them are just rocks and this is the same thing i'm seeing the same thing there's rocks and the fish there's a fish again What's up with the fish? I'm also seeing plants now. Like near a window. Okay, Salty, is this making any sense? Before I keep going. I feel like I'm in a space. Is this your space now? Do you have those types of things in your house, um, in your kitchen? I'm out of tea. Okay, you collect sea glass and fossils, and you keep the pieces in beakers and bowls by the window with your plants. Holy crap! <laughs> okay. So I'm seeing your space. So this lady is showing me your space. Does the woman sound familiar to you? Grandmother type? Um, she seems kind. She has a pleasant face. Remote viewing is so much fun. Um, she keeps showing me herself with an apron on. So I think it could be that she liked cooking or she's showing me or because I felt like I was in your kitchen that could be just connected to that. Um, the things that she told me earlier about herself was that there was a problem with her lungs. She died in the hospital and there was an L and M. Initials L and M. Boycott Witch said, I was going to ask if Spirit will show you people's houses or whatnot, and you got your answer. Absolutely, yes. That happens quite often, actually, and I really like doing remote viewing. It's fun. I always feel like I want to keep going. <laughs> like, I just want to keep going. Like, once I get into a place, like, I want to stay there until I can see, like, everything. But, you know, we have limited time, so I have to pull myself away. Like that reading I did a few weeks ago where I was um where I was with the kids in the woods and it was like summertime and we were swinging on swings and stuff like that was fabulous like I could have been there all day it was wonderful yes remote viewing can freak people out not as much as trance mediumship which is what I'm working on now that would get real weird you don't know who this could be? Okay. It's clearly for you because everything that I'm being shown is you and your stuff. So I think we should just try for a message and maybe that'll clear it up and we'll know who it is. Um, and if it doesn't, we still don't know who it is. Maybe the message will be helpful anyway. You know how I roll. I was thinking the same thing too. It could be a non-relative guide. For sure. Okay. <coughs> oh, good lord. 
Okay. I heard sacred space. I think what you've managed to do is create yourself a sacred space. And I feel like you feel like it is most of the time. But sometimes you question. You question it. But it definitely is. Like every little thing that you have put into your space is there for a reason and it contributes to this energy it's like a protective healing sacred energy all right so this is gonna sound real weird but i don't think it'll be weird to you I almost feel like, well, maybe I should word it differently. <laughs> like you've created this altar to like all things earth. And I feel like because you have, you are receiving the energy of if you want to call it like mother earth or you know however way you want to think about it you're receiving that energy back does that make sense maggie oh maggie it's closed i'm glad you're here though perfect timing for a really strange reading for salty frog <laughs> It's all about, I think Mother Earth just came through and told Salty Frog, thank you for making a sacred space for her energy. If I really want to put it in a real weird way. <laughs> it felt like a Maggie reading. And then Maggie showed up. See, you just knew. You knew that it was time for a weird reading. And uh, you showed up just in time. Because Salty just got a weird one. So I think that your reading is extraordinarily special. Because it was, um, yeah, we're on Team Weird for sure. It was like the Earth was sending you a thank you note. You've been feeding all the animals outside this weekend during the ice storm. See, look at you. Mother Earth said thank you. And I want you to also remember that you have created a sacred space. Because there's a lot you can do with that energy that's there. To help, you know, others, animals, plants, living things spirit, etc., which I know that you do. So I think feel free to tap into that energy anytime you need it because it's there. And I also, um, yeah, like an altar. Mm-hmm. 
made an altar to Mother Earth. I also just got this like knowing <laughs> I guess it was what Claire Cognizance. So remember that reading that I did for you where we remote viewed to a past life and you were with the um, the medicine woman and you were like learning how to be a medicine woman? Are you going to get a clarification? Okay, cool. Um, this is when that is that, that life is when you learned how to do this. And I don't think you even realized that that's what you were doing all the way. But, um, that was when you learned how to do it this this creating a sacred space to um have this energy offered up inner voice was your clarification card it's number two two is so important this month we have so many twos two 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 so many twos inner voice the inner voice speaks not in the words but in the wordless language of the heart it is a it is like an oracle who only speaks the truth it has a face but uh, it had a face oh no hold on if it had a face it would be like the face at the center of this card alert watchful and able to accept both the dark and light symbolized by the two hands holding the crystal the crystal itself represents the clarity that comes from transcending all dualities the inner voice can also be playful as it as it dives deep into the emotions and emerges again to soar towards the sky like the two dolphins dancing in the water of life or hopping up and down like a feral child frog. It is connected with the cosmos through the crescent moon, crown, and the earth as represented by the green leaves on the figure's kimono. There are times in our lives when too many voices seem to be pulling us this way and that are a very confusion in such situations is a reminder to seek silence and centering within only then will you be able to hear our truth so if we connect this card to your medium reading i think it would be well first of all this card has a lot of nature stuff in it it has the crystal it has the water it's got the animals yeah yeah um and we were talking about how you created a sacred space where you can tap into this amazing energy from the earth i think that that's what all of this is on the top of the card um so i think that this card would just be a reminder that it's there whenever you want it to be whenever you need it to be you just have to silent you know silence your mind and listen because it's there it's always there i'm gonna write that down and then i'll read what you typed you are just coming to hang out and lurk oh i love you too salty thank you yes i love my community my uh community yes here's the card again inner voice It's got the water, there's a crystal, the moon, animals. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dolphins, what's up with the dolphins? <laughs> <coughs> oh, that's getting so hard to talk. Okay, send me a DM, good. Yay, Salty. Well, I'm glad that um, who, whatever spirit was helping us out was able to, um, is, yeah, it was Mother Earth. She's a lovely lady, Mother Earth.